What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Is It Riddle Form deck. Uh, if you didn't check out part one, please make sure you do so. We did get one win, uh, which was a little surprising, but uh, it, was a, it was a nice game. And we actually did okay, I think, especially in the third game. Um, but we just get outpowered, unfortunately, and I think that that's just... Uh, it's probably going to happen with this deck from time to time. Uh, but it is a really, really fun deck. We're going to keep trying it out. This isn't an amazing hand, but it does have a threat as well as some some abilities here. So let's let's give it a shot. We'll we'll see. Um, there is a, a world where we crash through turn one just to draw a card. Um, I don't know if that's correct, though, to be honest. Wow, they very heavily mulliganed here. Um, all right, let's uh, let's pass with the intent of shocking this knight. Um, I think that's definitely going to be the play. Let them attack first. There we go. <clears throat> All right. It's a great card. Um, okay, let's play this. We will pass, uh, so we each get to draw our extra card, and then we'll um, we'll storm or uh, get rid of the Stormfist Crusader with the Brazen Borrower, most likely. Get that out of there. Um, and that just gets this out of our hand as well, so they can't drill a bit. Um, that way we've got our threat. Uh, now they can take the Royal Scions, which is really good. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think that's probably just our best play. Okay. All right, let's do that. And we'll pass. Uh, chances are they may just have another drill bit, which is going to kind of suck, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, no, they do not. Okay. I'm just going to take the two here. Um, not a huge reason to unsubstantiate that. I think we'd rather just go ahead and get the Brazen Borrower down. If they've got a removal spell for it, that's fine. It's not great, but that's fine. Let's burn it now. Riddle form. Well, let's play a riddle form. Uh, and we'll play this with the intention of being able to either opt or unsubstantiate. Uh, it's not going to be a surprise to them, obviously, but it does give us something to do. A um, little worried they're just going to outvalue us at some point here, but we do have, you know, some stuff we can do. Sure. Ooh. Kind of was hoping they would do that. Um, see how they want to do this. Let's unsubstantiate this. And then with the intent of blocking uh, the Fervent Champion. I think that works. That works pretty well, I think. Uh, they may have a uh, some kind of, you know... Um, Pump up spell here or combat trick, which is gonna kind of suck. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Does have death touch too, so they get there. Um, that was a great play by them. That was really nice. I love Rakdos Knights just in general. It's a really really cool archetype. Uh, whoops. Let's do this. Uh, let's crash through here. We kind of need to draw some stuff. Um, I'm gonna decline that. That's fine. Okay. Um, and we'll pass. We do still have the opt, so I'm not, you know, worried about that. Unsubstantiate is even better. Um, okay. All right. Um, we're going to do the same trick again. With the hope that they don't have another Paragon. <laughs> if they do, that's just really good on their end. There's not much we can do about it. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Um, that takes away all of our threats. So, this is the downside to a Riddle Form deck. Uh, but that's fine. Yep. Uh, so, what could we possibly do? Let's opt first. We'll put that on the bottom. That's pretty helpful, actually. Um, let's crash through. That's very helpful. 
Let's get rid of this. And now we have double stern dismissal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce a couple things here, uh, just so they don't get the uh, the trigger on the fervent champion. They're also out of mana at this point, uh, which is pretty important. That's not super helpful though. We don't have an artifact or enchantment to copy, so I think we just lose. We could have had a draw there, but um, yeah, I think we're just, yeah, we're dead. All right, we'll go ahead and concede. Well done opponent, they just had a super aggressive deck, uh, which worked out. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. Uh, like I said at the beginning though, this is not really a deck that is meant to be competitive. This is kind of to see if Riddle Form would work. Um, and it's just kind of fun. Uh, we, we mentioned it in the first video, but things like Sprite Dragon are much more powerful. Um, it's obviously more aggressive, which is good. The upside to Riddle Form is it's already kind of inherently a 3-3 and you get some Scry Power off of it, but it's really not the best, let's just say. Um, this is a very dangerous hand, but we are going to keep it. The reason this is so dangerous, in a 20 land deck, um, there's a very high chance we're not going to get to our blue. <laughs> uh, and so if we don't, Riddle Form is a dead card. But we've got so much burn here. Uh, if we are up against a very aggressive deck, which tends to be the case right now, then we are in amazing shape. Um, let's do this first. If we can avoid shocking ourselves, we're going to try to. Uh, it looks like we're against another Mardu deck, so um, uh, another another as in we were in against one the uh, the first time. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and play Riddle Form. This does allow us to be fairly aggressive, uh, and so I think this is worth it. Now we got very lucky in getting that um, early. Uh, okay. Uh, how much? I don't really care about that, to be honest. Um, hmm. I hate that we have to double up here, though, is my problem. But we can't really let them keep that. Uh, it does have lifelink, so it immediately mitigates all the damage that we do with riddle form. <laughs> and so I'm aggressively burning it out. Uh, but it also means we can get a Bone Crusher Giant down next turn. Um... So that's nice. And actually have a shock left up as well if we'd like. Uh, so there's there's hope. There's hope. All right. That's great. We can kill that. Um, let's do this. And let's do this. Perfect. All right. That was pretty nice. Um, that was a really nice turn. They only had that 2-2, so that was good. Um, and now we do have a, a blocker here for whatever they might have. Um, or a removal spell, which is totally fine. They had to take two to do it, so I'm cool with that. That's also fine. Um, I'm just going to do this, I think. Um, we're just trying to keep all of their threats off the field. Uh, and we'll pass. Don't want to play the crash through yet. There is a chance that we need to kind of get that down later on. So we'll wait. I love Banehound. That's such a cool card. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's do the same play again, I think. Just get to do this. Um... Let's let it be known too, we could be less aggressive and be a little bit more reactive. So we could have just played the Bone Crusher Giant and then shocked on their turn uh, if we had wanted to. And then we would have gotten a double blocker out of it, but I just don't think it's worth it. We're in a fairly aggressive position, I think, and so we need to keep that going. Uh, riddle Form does trigger Riddle Form, so that's kind of nice. Um, more importantly, though, I think we do this. All right. Apply 
try it. You will not block our noble I'm just gonna do this. Attack with both. They have to block the uh, Bone Crusher Giant, and it does have First Strike and Trample. So, like, it's pretty good. Yep. I will crash through now. Okay. Get another land out. That's helpful. Uh, that gives us Riddle Form and Narset next turn, which is pretty cool. Um, and now we are in lethal position, which is great. This was a very quick uh, game. Three games. We're at 10 minutes. Or this is our second. Is this our second game or is this our third game? I think this is our second game. My mistake. All right. That's fine. Get away from me. This just means we win. All right, cool. Well, I think that was our second game, so we're gonna jump into a third. <laughs> uh, I lost track, I'm so sorry, but uh, let's jump into our, our last game here. Let's see how we do. We got a win, so that's kind of nice. Um, oh, pardon, we got some packs. Uh, let's open a pack, and we got our mastery tree. We'll do that, and then we'll go into our last game. All right. I feel like it takes forever to open the vault. I just wanna open the vault, guys. That's all I want. I had a really nice little knight's deck uh, that I was planning to play today, but I was missing like two cards, and they were like really random things from Throne of Eldraine that I did not have. They're mythics, and so I didn't have wild cards for them. I have one mythic wild card, um, and I'll be honest with the uh, with the JDC coming up on the twenty first. I gotta save all my wild cards. Is kind of my takeaway. Um, cause you never know what we're going to get there. Um, really, really excited about that. By the way, we've got some really awesome people who are planning on joining, uh, which is great. Um, we're going to keep this it's a little bit of a risky keep, but we'll try it. That helps. Let's do that. Um, but very, very excited about that. And, uh, I think we're just missing like one more person and then we're in great shape. So I could not be more excited. I think it's going to be a really fun time. Uh, let's play that and pass. Uh, we can shock and opt. Oh, perfect. Yes, please. Shock the crap out of that. No, sir. You do not get that. Uh, I'm gonna opt here, too. Do we want that? I actually don't. I kind of just want stuff to do now. Okay, well, we gotta crash through. <laughs> um, let's do that. Play blue. All right. I don't know why, okay, that was weird. It like froze on an island. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. Uh, let's see. Do that. Let's bounce it. Okay. Um, let's just play that tapped and we'll pass. Probably just gonna flash out Brazen Borrower here, especially if all they do is replay the uh, Patrician. Sure. Okay. All the land. Uh, let's do this. See what we draw. Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm. I actually don't know what the best play is here. Um, let's do this. Let's unsubstantiate. And then let's uh, attack in, leaving up Bone Crusher Giant and or Opt, or not and, excuse me, or Opt. I think that might be the right play. I don't know for sure. Uh, it allows us to get in there for a little bit of damage, and then if they're just replaying this, then like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Cool. Let's Opt now. Riddle form. Um... Sure, we'll keep you, I think. Shock. That's great. Uh, riddle form. We'll see what they do. I'm going to decline this action. All right. 
Um, pass. We can bone crusher giant something if we would like. Um, not that, unfortunately. Whenever you gain life, that is such a good card. Um, hmm. I think we just pass. Oof, not very good. Take that action. Okay. Play lands. We'll attack in here. Cool. And we'll pass. Kind of surprised on that, but... Uh, well, no, I guess that makes sense. I'm just kind of surprised they couldn't do any other life gain stuff. Uh, we're going to unsubstantiate that. <laughs> we'll decline. I don't want to make this a creature when we can't do anything with it, if that makes sense, uh, because that does open it up for creature removal. And I am not into that. Uh... Let's scry. It's the great thing about this. Um, yep, put it on the bottom. Another riddle form. I love that they activate each other. That's kind of fun. Um, let's attack. All right, let's see what they do. Probably just play Soren again, which is, I mean, good. That makes sense. see what they do okay sure let's go ahead and scry here as well um I actually think we keep op keep opt. Uh, it gives us a way to um, to activate the riddle form here, uh, which we do want to do. Hmm. Sure. I think we kind of have to hit this. I don't love it, but it just keeps that in check a little bit more. Let's do that, and let's do this. So now we are at the mercy of our top deck, which is a little scary in a deck like this, because obviously we need to get non-creature spells uh, to really do a ton. Um, thankfully, we've got a lot, but, you know, that is a worry. Put a stop on our upkeep. We may scry. Um... Nice. It's a really interesting game, actually. Uh, let's do this. Yes, please. That's great. Okay. Oops. Main. Duh. All right. Let's do this. Just see what they do. They can save Soren, but they lose this, or they lose Soren, so they get to choose. Cool. I'm fine with that. Soren is just a problematic card for this deck, for sure. Ooh, very good. Get out Royal Silence. That's pretty solid. Uh, I think we just have to continuously keep our stop on the upkeep here. And looks, I mean, it looks very clearly like they're going to outvalue us i will say that but we're gonna keep trying yeah we'll keep a crash through uh this just allows us to to actually activate both of the riddle forms and it draws us a card we could get something good which we didn't but that's fine um let's go ahead and scry we should do it at the end of their turn, but it just doesn't really matter. Um, sure, why not? All right, well, chances are we're going to just die here at some point soon, but this has been a fun game, I will say. 
I really like the the idea behind this. I think it's so fun to take a card like Riddle Form, which is not necessarily the most powerful card in the world, we'll say, uh, for lack of a better term, and just be able to like at least see if it, we can make it work, uh, if that makes sense. And you know, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, and I think that that's kind of the the fun part behind it is just seeing it do its thing, uh, even if it's not great. It's still really fun. Um, we do get to attack in here as well, which is kind of nice. Go ahead and scry mine as well. I mean, <laughs> mirror maid. Sure, let's let's try it. All right. Definitely don't have a, a high hope for this game, though. Now I definitely don't have a high hope. That is a problem card if there's ever been one. Um, kind of want to get rid of this, but we really just don't have enough stuff to deal with it. Um, Actually, that helps tremendously. Let's get rid of that. That's not bad. We're still gonna die, but like, <laughs> at least we have a way to deal with that. Um, we'll scry now, because again, it doesn't really matter. Unsubstantiate, sure. That's a card. It's a card we can play. Um, so we're going to take five, six, or four, five, six minimum. No? Okay. Well, that's different. Um, I guess they do have to be pretty cautious here. Hmm. So if we do this, what are our plays? So we can bounce this. Um, which gets us in for six. Doesn't win us the game, but it does get us in for six. Or we can do this, get Banishing Light. Or get this out of here. Oh, no, excuse me. Target spell or creature. Okay, so we have to do this. No. All right. Um, well, we attack. We could have again done this at a different step um, on their turn, which might have actually been better, I don't know. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> if we live this turn, we might be able to win. Chances are we won't, but that's fine. Sure. This is a very interesting deck. Yeah, so we just die, right? They just attack with everything. Now that this has lifelink, we just... Well, we... Yeah. Nice done. Nicely done on the opponent's end. That was great. Well done. All right. Well, now we officially at least played three games. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck. I don't think this is competitively viable, obviously, but it is a really fun idea. I think... Um, Again, being able to take a card like Riddle Form and try and make it, you know, the best that it can be is a really fun practice because not only does it make you kind of think about things a little bit differently, and I think arguably we didn't do enough of that in this. I think we could have pushed it a little bit more to try and be more defensive, reactive to what the opponent was doing. Um, but regardless, I think it was a really fun time. I like this deck a lot. Uh, it just doesn't quite get there and that's okay now we know we we tried it we tested something a little different so hopefully you guys enjoyed like i said and please leave a like or a comment if you did make sure to enter our double masters giveaway make sure to check out our website we've got a jdc application there so if you have a youtube channel or you know of someone that has a youtube channel that might want to uh to take part in that uh it's a month-long league it's going to be really really fun we've got a great group of people already uh and i'm really excited about it so please do uh check that out check out our full website we've got a a lot of stuff there are online store and everything so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon for another gameplay video